CAD. It's Maximus here. This is just a basic review of the Stanley 87470. This is the 10 inch adjustable wrench and I'm just doing a video to exemplify just how low Stanley has been getting. This is just an unfortunately a Chinese made, it is chrome vanadium, halfway decent steel adjustable crescent wrench but it's you know not as good as old Stanley stuff much less original crescents or anything else. One thing I was noticing is even though this one's a little beat up, it uh, isn't too beat up. The jaw does work. Um, I guess whatever Chinese factory they've been insisting on, at least some consistency because the jaw is actually pretty tight whether it's all the way open or all the way closed. But it doesn't have buttress threads and that's the biggest issue. See, it's just about as tight, which is surprising. We can see the broaching, at least on this one, is actually pretty well centered. What I mean by buttress threads? is if we look here we can see the teeth on the moving jar are just pretty straight and we can see the teeth on this wheel are pretty straight. This wheel is really beat up uh, surprisingly so. This, uh, that wheel is probably mild steel. I can't see, I've never seen a wheel that's been that beat up where well, the rest of the wrench really doesn't have that much wear. The reason that's an issue is when you're using adjustable wrenches when you turn, you actually pull towards the moving jaw, but there is still pressure. And so the reason they use buttress threads here is it, so the teeth on the moving jaw can be thicker and the threads on the screw can be thicker. Here's a great example. Here's a, uh, this happens to be a proto, obviously, much better quality. But we can see just how much thicker the threads are on the thumb wheel. And if we look, you can barely see, but the teeth are also much thicker. It just makes it for a heavier duty wrench. So it's just kind of cheesy that Stanley decided to make these in China save some money but not only did they move manufacturing to China they actually cheapified on not cutting the buttress threads because it's a little bit more of an expensive tooling so anyway just a short video I would not get the Stanley adjustable wrenches I get something husky somebody else because even though the jaw is reasonably tight this wrench doesn't give me good feelings <laughs> aside from that. Even if they do have a screw here where you can technically pull this out, they did stake it in so it wouldn't fall out, we can technically pull this out and rebuild it. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.